hurt and confused. No, it isn't some drama that has been concocted for the purposes of some Netflix output by Harry's wife, although you would be forgiven for thinking that that might be the case. In actual fact, GB News delivers us this latest slice of apparent fact-based information as ever, I'll leave it up to you to make a determination as to the veracity of the information. I simply provide you with the analysis. Svar Nanan Sen tells us that Prince Harry is hurt and confused by Harry's wife. Well, should that really be news? After all, he is in the sustained devaluation as a consequence of his dynamic with a narcissist. Any individual who is the intimate partner primary source of a narcissist, which is what Harry is, is always going to find themselves in the sustained devaluation. Harry's wife is a middle-mid-range narcissist, which means that she is passive-aggressive and utilises a facade. But in certain instances, away from the watching eyes of the world, so that the facade doesn't need to be utilised, she can be a bully. She can use heated fury. Many instances she will use cold fury, ignoring Harry, giving him the cold shoulder, giving him a withering glare, turning on a heel and walking away. But she'll insult him, belittle him, invalidate him, put him down, bring up the past. And, like many narcissists, she will triangulate him. Triangulation is used regularly by narcissists. We will triangulate you with, for example, other people. We will triangulate you with events. We will triangulate you with objects. So, for instance, a narcissist is well aware that you want to go and visit your family. You visiting your family means that you're not paying sufficient attention to the narcissist. Your fuel will be going elsewhere. This threatens the narcissist's sense of control. When you, as the intimate partner primary source of the narcissist and you are in the sustained devaluation, declare that you're waiting for the narcissist to drive you to visit your family, something that you regularly do, the narcissist all of a sudden has decided that now's the time that he's going to wash, clean, polish, vacuum his motor vehicle. And thus you, wanting to go and visit your family, threaten the narcissist's sense of control by wanting to do that, and the narcissist responds, subconsciously, by then spending a lot of time washing the vehicle, polishing it, buffing it up, making it all look spick and span, in order to teach you a lesson. The narcissist just thinks that it's time to give the car a good clean. And after all, don't you want a nice clean car? Don't you want to travel in a nice clean car? But he's making you late. And he's making you late because he has no sense of accountability towards you in relation to the visit to your family. He wants you to react so that your reaction gives him fuel. He wants you to get upset. He wants you to get angry. He wants you to get frustrated because that tells him that he matters. And the provision of your fuel by way of reaction to his dilatory approach to the attendance on your family is him triangulating you with an object. Commonly, narcissists will triangulate you with other people. In the golden period, you receive benign triangulations. I'm so pleased you're so relaxed and that you take everything in your stride. You're not highly strung like my ex-wife was, the narcissist tells you. You're compared to the ex-wife and it's being done to make you feel good about yourself so that you respond in a favourable manner towards the narcissist to demonstrate that you continue to be under control whilst at the same time you provide positive fuel to the narcissist. It's all good. And then you enter the sustained devaluation and some months later or maybe a year or two later the narcissist turns and says to you I wish you were more relaxed like my ex-wife was. I can't believe how highly strung you are. You're confused. He used to complain about her being the one that was highly strung and a pain in the arse. 
Now he's saying it of you when he said that you were the one that was all relaxed. What's happened? Well, you've now been painted black. You've entered the sustained devaluation. And as a consequence of that, you find the things that were said about you, which were good when you were painted white, and the things that were said about the ex-wife, who was painted black, it swapped. She's now painted white. You're now painted black. And thus, you are triangulated with that person. You can often be triangulated with somebody that exists as well as somebody who doesn't even exist, but you don't necessarily know that. The narcissist might talk about somebody at work being wonderful, very attractive, that they enjoy talking to them, but that person doesn't actually exist. The narcissism concocts that individual for the purposes of making you feel demeaned. And Harry's wife is doing this with Harry, which is causing him to feel hurt and confused. Prince Harry is hurt and confused by Harry's wife's actions while her engagement ring is being repaired, according to a source. Earlier this month, the Duchess of Sussex was seen without her ring in a photo posted on Instagram. You may recall that was when she was going out with her paid friends. The picture raised concern among some royal fans as Harry's wife and Harry have spent time apart throughout August. A source claimed the Duke of Sussex has been left baffled by his wife going out, without wearing her engagement ring. They said, All Harry's wife is doing by going out without her engagement ring is fueling the rumours that she and Harry are having marriage troubles, which Harry is absolutely baffled by. He's been feeling anxious that she's trying to send some kind of message to him. And indeed, if this is accurate, that is what she is doing. Because she is triangulating him with an object, that she's not using, that she's not wearing, as if to say, I don't want you anymore. It is quite common for narcissists to pull off the wedding ring or engagement ring and hurl it at the intimate partner primary source. Here, have this back, triangulating them with the ring to suggest that the relationship is over. And here, by Harry's wife failing to wear it, her narcissism is causing her to triangulate Harry in a malign fashion in order to extract fuel from him and to assert control over him. The source told Closer, she's saying it's simply a case of waiting for her engagement ring to be repaired because it's in with the jewellers, which is true, but Harry doesn't understand why she won't wear something else from her extensive jewellery collection in its place. He's hurt and confused. In a post on Instagram, Harry's wife was not wearing her diamond engagement ring, which usually sits above her gold wedding band and diamond eternity ring. The Duchess was pictured beaming alongside her friends, paid for, Katie Lee and Cleo Wade. Lee, who has the Instagram handle Highbrow Hippie, posted the picture of the trio on her story. Despite Harry's wife's engagement ring not appearing in the Instagram snap, it should not be too long before she's reunited with it. A source told Page Six that the six-figure ring is currently being fixed. The insider did not specify what repairs were taking place on the ring. However, if this information is accurate and she doesn't wear a replacement on her finger, the absence of the ring is a manipulation, a triangulation with Harry with the absence of the ring, once again for the purposes of asserting control over him and drawing fuel from him. An excellent example of the way that the narcissist triangulates and triangulates with an object. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.